humans have been trying to find a way to prevent death for years. In some cultures, you attain a kind of immortality by doing great deeds, which people will talk about long after you pass away. Several religions feature some concept of immortality, the body may die, but some part of you will exist forever. In fact, an ancient Greek alchemist once tried to create a philosopher's stone that would let people live forever. But reality is, humans still have not found the answer to beat death. The question is, is it really possible to live forever? Demographers estimate that before our generation roughly 100 billion people lived and died, and not one of them has returned to confirm the existence of an afterlife. The average human lifespan has increased dramatically over the last 100 years. This has been achieved largely thanks to the fruits of our advancements in technology, science, and medicine. But could we ever achieve immortality? What would it cost to achieve it? Could it be achieved through medical or technological means? Will it be given for free? This is Cycle Vlogs, and here are potential technologies and theories that maybe will help us achieve immortality. Gene therapy. As they say, nothing is certain except death and taxes. But doubt has been cast over the former since the 1970s, when scientists picked at the seams of one of the fundamental mysteries of biology, the molecular reasons we get old and die. Our lifespans as humans are determined by the aging of our individual cells. It's been estimated that genes can explain a maximum of 35% of lifespan, but there's still more we do not understand about aging than which we do understand. Scientists in Beijing have developed a new gene therapy, which can reverse some of the effects of aging in mice and extend their lifespans, findings which may one day contribute to similar treatment for humans. Method number two, replacing body organs with 3D printed ones. There are quite a lot of people interested in living forever, and with the advancement of technology, people actually believe they can do it. One way to extend life would be to use biotechnologies and medicine to keep renewing the body and rejuvenating it. This could be done in several ways, including genetic engineering that prevents or reverses the aging of cells. Alternatively, you could replace vital body organs with new parts. Many scientists around the world are working on creating human organs using 3D printers loaded with living cells, which could one day make human organ donors redundant. 3D printing is developing incredibly fast and could soon be used to routinely print replacement body parts, like the human heart. Advancements have been made very recently by a UK team successfully printing replacement corneas is helping push this technique forward. If this technique could be extended to using fat and collagen to print new hearts, this could add decades to donors' lives. Another way to extend human life is by living in a robotic body. Scientists believe that we may be able to save and upload copies of ourselves in the future. So-called cybernetic immortality. These could then be installed into robotic bodies or avatars that would, in theory, enable us to live forever. This means that even when your original body dies, you'd still be able to use your digital mind stored on a computer and live in the world using highly realistic robot bodies. The first people to use robot bodies to become immortal will be the rich, but then the price will gradually come down. Our generation is fortunate to exist at a time when the scientific revolution is redefining the basic principles of nature. Human beings will still die from war, accidents, and natural calamities. Life extension will also cause a population surge putting pressure on natural resources and the climate. Luckily, space exploration and the race to establish a human civilization on other planets are underway to cushion us from resource depletion on Earth. In the meantime, it's everyone's responsibility to contribute towards making the world